It may be the world's fastest spring break party, but for some of these drivers, they're just about to start going to school as they're going to go up against the legends of the Pirelli World Challenge. Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Creamer, and welcome to the opening rounds of this wonderful championship. It is the St. Petersburg Sports Car Challenge presented by StopTech. This is going to be a grand touring spectacular as the series GT and GTS classes take center stage. And the story in both of those categories is growth. In GT, we've got a great field, but there's been a wonderful infusion of supercar machinery that is taking this series and getting a lot of attention. In the GTS category, the big story there is more. More of the great cars that make this global manufacturing explosion and probably world challenge continue on the upswing. But better still, there's the influx of some remarkable young talent that have moved into this championship and are in the GTS category that are going to make it very exciting indeed. Between the two, we've got over 40 cars ready to line up on the grid, and we're going to bring you the opening rounds of the championship. It is going to be fierce on the streets of St. Pete. And to start to kick things off, let me send it up to the booth and my broadcast partner for another year, Calvin Fish. Hey, bud. Street Fighter himself, Jack Baldwin, the Motul Star Tech Porsche Cayman. On row 11, it's another Porsche Cayman in the hands of Kevin Gleason. Next to him, two-time series champ Lawson Archenbach in the Black Dog Speed Shop Camaro. The next row is seven-time series champ Petey Cunningham in his real-time Acura. And in the first of the two Kia Motors America Optimas, it's Mark Wilkins. On row 13, Alec Udell leads the Mustang contingent with the Motorsports Development Boss 302R. Alongside Swede, Nick Johnson, who had boost issues in qualifying with the second of the Kias. Nick Hassan leads row 14 in the second of the real-time Acuras. And great C former World Challenge champ Lou Gelardi is back. On row 15, it's All-American Muscle with Dane Moxlow in the Trenton Forging Steeder Autosports Mustang and Harry Curtin in the best IT Camaro. And the next row, it's rookie Jim Taggart in the Lotus USA Taggart Autosport Lotus Siege and Tony Gables in the second Black Dog Speed Shop Camaro. Row 17 is rookie Ernie Francis Jr. in the Hydraulic Jeans Chevy Camaro and Rook Boucher in the SPL Pro Nissan 370Z. Sharing row 18, another rookie, Mitch Landry in the Versacrane Mustang 302S and Brian Kleeman in the DXD Clutches Nissan 370Z. Rookie Drew Regitz in the Association Boys BMW M3 leads row 19 alongside Artie Topi's Ford Mustang. Next row is Brad Adams in the Voodoo Dat Dog Mustang 302S and Bill Ziegler in the Swisher's GMG Pontiac Solstice. And playing cleanup for the GTS field is Rich Golanello in the Grand Sanitation Ford Mustang. And that field is deep in GTS. And look at this, Nick Johnson in the red Kia coming up alongside rookie Landry. Looks like he's going to make the pass, Cal. Now, Nick had qualified eighth, but had to start from the back of this GTS field because his car was late to the pre-grid. So he's storming through the field right now. Hasn't been the best of preseason press for the Kia Optimus. They had some issues down at Sebring, had a wiring harness issue on one of the cars, caught fire to Mark Wilkins' car. So they come into St. Pete a little bit unknown in terms of what they have underneath them. But as you can see, this field, as we talked about, it's deep in terms of numbers, deep in terms of teams and the, the preparation, and also great in terms of the drivers. And you've got Nick Janssen in your mirrors like these guys do. You know you're in the wars right now. As we hop on board, that is the beautiful Nissan of Rick Boucher. This is a really cool part of the racetrack, Greg. This very fast chicane, then hard on the brakes for turns 13. This long horseshoe corner, 13, 14. Then you get on the power hard on this wide open concrete runway here down towards our Motul braking zone in turn one. Boy, that was a great look back from Jim Taggart's Lotus. Now back forward from Boucher. And here comes Janssen. Well, I tell you, these images from these GoPro cameras are spectacular. Look at this. Ernie Francis trying to get down underneath that Lotus. And that is Ernie Francis, 15 years old. Youngest driver in the series in the hydraulic gene Chevy Camaro. And now it's time for him to go to school as he's got Janssen coming around him. Janssen's got that turbo power, which works great on these straightaways, but on a street circuit, a little bit of difficulty dealing with the boost. But look at the brakes there. Janssen can't really get on the brakes hard. It starts to wag the tail a little bit under braking for turn four. I tell you what, that Lotus looks about half the size of that Camaro here. Yeah, it's unbelievable.